One thing this morning, we're learning more about the discovery of a car belonging to a Port Orange teacher who disappeared almost three years ago. Robert Heike's car was found in a Volusia County Canal yesterday. As Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte found out, a volunteer group helped lead to the discovery. Hundreds and hundreds of hours and, you know, seven months of time on this case. Searching more than 30 miles on the ground and in more than 70 bodies of water looking for Robert Heike and his car. The poor orange teacher had been missing since October of 2020 when he didn't show up for work at Creekside Middle School. His family left without answers until this weekend when volunteer search teams Sunshine State Sonar and Recon Recon Recovery finally found his car. We went back a second time and rechecked, and thank God, yeah. we got him. The teams tell me they went back to one of the first areas they looked near the Pioneer Trail between State Road 44 and 415, where Heike's cell phone last pinged. Back then, they didn't find anything, but on Saturday, with new sonar tech, divers, and the water at a significantly lower level, they finally found Heike's car with a body inside, presumed to be the teacher. Volusia County dive teams recovered the vehicle, getting it out of the water and are now working to confirm it's his body. You think about the families, you yeah. think about the victim, you think about the time and the effort, the sweat and tears that you put in to search for this person and finally finding them just takes such a toll on you but it's bittersweet. The team specialize in missing cases where the person's vehicle was never recovered. They use sonar equipment with live scope imaging, divers, and powerful magnets to search for cars in the water, hoping this discovery gives Hypa's children some peace of mind. You never get over losing someone like this in a terrible accident. Um, it's answers. That's all it is. It's answers to where, you know, their dad has been for the last three years. And when I asked the recovery teams why they spend countless hours of their free time searching for missing persons. Knowing how much that hurts to have someone ripped away and, and never have an answer. Um, to me, that, that's the, the driving factor that keeps me going is being able to, you know, provide some of that relief, provide some of those answers so that they can finally move on uh, after two years or 22 years. Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.